All right, I am going to be reviewing the book Still Alice by Lisa Genova. Um, this is a book about a woman who gets uh, diagnosed with early Alzheimer's right around her 50th birthday. She was a linguistic professor at a university and her husband's uh, some kind of doctor who works a lot in a laboratory. And uh, so they're both these really highly successful people, really intelligent, really driven. And then she's giving a lecture and she forgets something. And then she just kind of starts forgetting other things. And so she goes in to get tested and she gets diagnosed. Um, and this book, I think it kind of goes from over a year's time frame, maybe a year and a half or something. Of just showing kind of her descent in her memory and her health and kind of does a good job of putting you in the in the feet of somebody who's really going through it and like she used to go for these really long runs and then she gets, starts getting disoriented during the runs um, and so then her husband tells her that he doesn't want her running alone anymore because she could get lost um, and so they uh, end up, I believe, getting her a bracelet in case she does wander off, which is a really smart thing if you do have family members who are suffering from dementia or Alzheimer's. There's uh, bracelets they can wear um, that'll have a phone number and their name on it. Um, so if you are uh, having family or you yourself are struggling, um, that's one idea. Um, so they've got three kids. Uh, two daughters and a son, um, and one daughter decides to get tested for the genes. Um, there is a blood test, I believe, you can do. Um, and there's also, I was Googling this before getting on here, and uh, it looks like 23andMe has testing that can show you if you have high risk. It can't diagnose you with dementia or Alzheimer's, but it can tell you if you carry the genes that'll put you at a higher risk. Um, and it looks like that test is about 229. I'm not at all affiliated with the site or sponsored or represent them in any way. This is just what I found online that I thought uh, might be interesting or helpful. Um, so one of the daughters, uh, they're doing uh, in vitro fertilization and she decides to get her embryos tested and um, not to get implanted with any that would carry the mutation for the genes that would potentially lead to Alzheimer's or dementia. So I thought that was very interesting. Um, another thing that Anna, the main character, or Alice, the main character, her daughter's name's Anna, um, that Alice does is she starts a support group for herself. She asks her doctor uh, if she can get the information on some other people um, to so they can all meet up and kind of talk each other through what they're going through. And at first the doctor's reluctant, oh, I can't break patient confidentiality and stuff like that. But eventually um, she gets the names of a couple other people in her area. Um, so my dad has Alzheimer's. And his brother also has Alzheimer's and his mother had Alzheimer's. So this is definitely a scary thing for me. And I will be debating whether or not I would want to get tested. Um, just out of interest for my own curiosity on my health. Uh, it did have a disclaimer on the website saying that sometimes um, it can affect your insurance uh, estimates. Because um, if, if you know you have something and an insurance company asks you about it, so I don't know. That's something to think about. It's kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. Um, and I do wonder how obligated you are to really disclose that to an insurance company. But anyways, it was a disclaimer on their site, and I found that very interesting. Um, because I would, I would like to get tested, and I would like to know if I'm high risk or not. I think, I think everybody has the right to know those things and would like to know what they're potentially up against in life. Uh, it looks like they can also test you for um, cancer possibilities. Again, none of it's diagnoses. It's, uh, it's just telling you if you carry genes that could potentially 
um, put you at higher risk. Um, so, so Alice starts the support group. Um, another thing she does is she has a journal she keeps and she sets it up to ask herself on a regular basis five questions. Um, question one, what month is it? Two, where do you live? Three, where is your office? Four, when is Anna, her daughter's birthday? Five, how many children you have? And so you watch in the beginning when her answers are really clear and distinct to where all of a sudden um, she, she doesn't put the whole address of her office. She just says the general area. When she says her daughter's birthday, she just says the month. She doesn't say the day or the year. And uh, so you kind of see her, her deterioration that way. And she actually sets up a thing for herself where if she's no longer able to answer these questions, she uh, gets a bottle of pain pills and is planning to commit suicide. Um, I thought that was an interesting kind of twist in it, like watching her deteriorate and seeing kind of a ticking clock of, is that how she's going to, you know, is that how this book is going to end? Um, so before we get to that spoiler, we'll uh, go on to some other things. Um, her husband gets a job opportunity in another state and because of her confusion, because that's where she's, you know, got some support already and that's where her life has been all these years, she doesn't want to move and be uprooted. Um, he's really still working a lot and uh, not really able to be there for her in a really meaningful and significant way. He's a loving husband, but he's also a missing uh, kind of negligent husband. So that's that's very sad. And he does end up in the end of the book. Um, they go on a final vacation and he tells her that it's their um, their vacation home. And she says she wants to go to a real home. Um, but at this point in the book, she's living in a memory care facility and uh, her daughters visit her there. But um, yeah, her husband's left her. Um, so about whether or not she commits suicide. So, um, she actually does, uh, get to the point where she's not really able to answer the questions and she, uh, opens up the video. It says to open up. That's supposed to give her, that gives her the instructions to, uh, take a bottle of pills and she goes to get the pills. And then, uh, one of the nurses in the facility comes in and startles her and uh, she forgets what she's doing. She just takes a normal like dose of one. And then um, she says that she's just kind of living in the moment and she's uh, enjoying an ice cream. And um, yeah, it's, it's very sad, very, very, uh, very sad ending. Uh, it's a very sad disease. Um, I don't know what could be scarier than, you know, feeling your own mind deteriorate. I think we all have those moments where you put your keys in a silly place or you kind of just face out where you're driving somewhere and for a minute I'm like, where am I going? Or, you know, you walk in a room and you're like, I came in here for something. You know, we have those moments. But um, imagine if those moments were basically your entire day all day. Um. So yeah, like I said, I've got family members that are battling this right now, and it's very stressful, and it's very heartbreaking, and uh, so I don't know. I wish I had good news. Just know if you are battling this or someone you love is, that you aren't alone. Um, unfortunately, this is a fairly common disease. Um, it kind of seems like a silent epidemic. A lot of people don't really talk about it unless they know you really well. Um, so yeah, just know that you aren't alone and, uh, leave me any comments about what you're going through. Um, and I just wish you and your family all the best with it. And, uh, yeah.
So it's a really good book. Uh, it's well written. It's a meaningful book. Um, I think it did a really nice job of showing it. It's kind of a terrifying book. You know, she's only 50. Um, and like I said, it does a good job of kind of really showing you the progress and the stages that you can go through. So again, uh, Still Alice. Yeah, good book. Would recommend.